Hi, I'm Sarah, and I'm a canine behavior and training advisor here at Battersea. Today, we're going to show you how to teach your dog to come back to you when you call them. This is known as a recall. It's essential that all dogs have a really strong and reliable recall before being let off lead in a public place. This means that you can always get them back on lead, and if necessary, you can get them out of any dangerous situations. The key to this training is to make sure it stays fun for your dog. That way you'll ensure that it's always appealing for them to come back to you. The last thing you want is for your dog to associate going back on the lead with all the fun ending. It's also important that you never get angry with your dog if they ignore you, because if you do that, they really won't want to come back to you. You need to start your recall training in a secure area in your home, where it's quiet and where your dog doesn't have too many distractions. You'll need to work out what type of reward motivates your dog the best. And for many dogs, this is going to be food. But for some dogs, it might be playing a game with you or maybe their favorite toy. Whatever the reward is, it needs to be something your dog really likes and that you only use for your recall training. Begin by teaching your dog the cue word for your recall. This could be come or hear or even a whistle. Just make sure that once you've chosen a word, you stick to it. Stand near your dog and call them to you with lots of enthusiasm using your cue word and their name. And when they come to you, give them lots of praise and whatever it is you've chosen as their reward. Keep repeating this throughout the day, around your home and in the garden. And once your dog comes, every time you call them, you'll know that they understand the cue word. Next, try calling your dog when they're a bit further away from you in a different area of the house. And make sure that you reward them as soon as they come to you. Practice this until your dog is reliably coming back to you from wherever they are. If they're struggling, they either don't understand the cue yet, or it may be that the reward you're offering isn't tempting enough. Once they understand a recall, you're going to need to start to introduce distractions around your training. And in order to do this, you're going to need a friend to help you out. Have your friend distract your dog by playing with them or doing some other training. When you're ready, call your dog and reward them as soon as they come back to you. Practice this a few times over a few short training sessions. Now your dog's confident with this, you can start to practice during their walks. Whilst they're still learning, we'd recommend using a long line training lead attached to a harness. If you need to, you can use this to gently reel them in, calling them as you do so, and then you reward them once they get to you. To begin with, only recall them when you're confident they're going to be successful. For instance, not when they're playing with another dog or when they're sniffing something really interesting. You can build up to these situations as they improve. When they come back to you, reward them, and sometimes clip the lead back on for a few seconds. It's important to practice this throughout the walk, and not only at the end when it's time to go. Once your dog is reliably coming back to you, even when there are distractions, you can then consider removing the long line. Always practice your recall and reward your dog for coming back to you. Those are our tips on how to teach your dog a reliable recall. If you'd like to learn more about how to teach your dog the Battersea way, visit our website and follow our channels.